Okay, this is uh, for GCSE Film Studies, it's paper 2, Exploring Film Outside Hollywood, and our case study film is The Wave. You will have one hour to usually do this exam. You have to answer all three questions. Okay, 1A. Identify one theme or issue introduced in the opening of your chosen film. One mark. And I wrote individuality versus conformity. B. Briefly explain why you think this theme or issue is important. Two marks. I wrote because it goes right to the heart of what it is to be human and how the choices we make shape who we are. One mark. Also, our choices affect others and shape them too. Second mark. Question 1C. Explore how film language is used to highlight this theme or issue in the opening of your chosen film. Consider one or two of the following. Camera work. Sound. Editing. Or colour. And that's worth seven marks. I wrote, the film uses sound, interestingly, right from the offset. The film uses loud, non-diegetic music, a cover version of Rock and Roll High School by the Ramones, to attract and keep the audience's attention. One mark. And represent Rainer, who is playing it in his car, as a rebel. Second mark. Especially when we find out he's a teacher, when the camera tracks him to the school. Three marks. The film further emphasises the link between the song and the main character's profession by showing him wearing a Ramones t-shirt to work. Fourth mark. The camera also shows the urban landscape with graffiti on the walls everywhere, which could be argued to complement Rainer's free bird personality. Fifth mark. We also see that Rainer is a popular teacher as the camera tracks his movement through the school corridors. The music goes from diegetic to non diegetic at this moment. Sixth mark. And he is cheerily greeted by a horde of students. Seventh mark. 2A. Name two characters who have an important relationship in your chosen film. I wrote Kara and Tim. Two marks. B. Briefly explain the importance of this relationship in the film. That's worth three marks. I wrote, Kara is thoughtful and moralistic, whilst Tim has no definable sense of self or morality. One mark. Both allegorically represent, respectively, the intellectuals the Nazis hated, Kara, and the naive the Nazis exploited, Tim. Second mark. They are characters that express very conflicting ideals. Third mark. Question 2C. Explore how costume and body language help to understand this relationship in one key sequence from your chosen film. Seven marks. I wrote... Kara reluctantly puts on the plain uniform shirt they have been ordered to wear to class. One mark. Her mother challenges her for not being herself. Kara's body language makes it clear she is uncomfortable with the uniform but wants to rebel against her liberal mother so goes with it. Second mark. By contrast we then see Tim not only looking very comfortable in the uniform, third mark, but also actively destroying all the other clothes he owns. Four marks. He looks euphoric as he watches very expensive designer clothes go up in flames. Fifth mark. He stands up straight and looks intense as he does this act, showing his growing confidence and determination. Sixth mark. Just as Kara is not sure about the whole experiment, Tim is actively enamoured with the whole experiment. Seventh mark. Question 2D. 
What does this relationship suggest about the themes or issues of your chosen film? Eight marks. I wrote, this suggests that the film is allegorically drawing parallels with the events leading up to Nazi Germany. One mark. We see how Rainer's class, a microcosm of German society, second mark, go from free thinking and relatively moralistic people, like most people in general, to being caught up in the psychological buzz of being in a group bound together with a clear goal. Third mark. However, the irony is that everyone in the classes was adamant that Nazi Germany couldn't be repeated and that they were all, quote unquote, too smart to fall for it in modern times. Fourth mark. Tim is the first to actively embrace the new regime and becomes proactive from the start. Fifth mark. However, this unthinking sense of total obedience will ultimately lead to his disillusion and suicide by the end of the film. Sixth mark. As the film progresses, however, Kara becomes unpopular with her peers, whilst once outsider Tim is taken under the wings of the other true believers in the class and becomes a poster boy for the new regime. Seventh mark. This contrast and reversal of fortune reflects the tragic persecution of thinkers and the elevation of the intellectually and morally needy. Eighth mark. Question three. Write a detailed review of your chosen film for a film magazine. You may include some of the following. Background information on the film including the director. Film language that was particularly interesting. Characters and how they are represented. Important themes and issues. And finally, your own views on the film. And that is worth 20 marks. Okay, so I wrote The Wave, reviewed by Kieran Kyle. I wrote it in the style of a film magazine, of course, and obviously they expect you just to engage with the ideas, write as you wish. Okay, so here we go. I gave it four out of five. You'd be forgiven for thinking that a film is as was audacious as The Wave was the debut film of a young promising filmmaker, but you'd be wrong. One mark. Director Dennis Gansel had directed many short films, two marks, and even a few featured and even a few feature length films, third mark, before undertaking this thought provoking adaptation of the 1981 American novel, fourth mark. However, fortune favours the perceptive and Gansel did what no one else had the creativity to think of, taking an American novel about young headstrong people, convinced, no convinced, convinced Nazi Germany could never happen again, and a more worldly teacher whom starts to see the perils of unthinking conformity unfurl before his very eyes and resituate it to where it's be more fitting. Germany! Fifth mark. Where the film and novel differ is that the novel was written to gently warn young people of the dangers of fascism and just how easy it is for a society to fall into it. That's sixth and seventh mark there. The book ends with the teacher popping the illusion and making the students see the harsh reality of what they become. Eighth mark. Where it is crucially different is, is that the film refuses to let anyone off the hook and takes everything to its most probable and shocking real-life consequence. It is no coincidence that the director should choose to do this because to have to not done this would have been seen arguably as an act of cowardice on his part. Ninth mark. Why, I hear you ask? Simple. Germany has the moral weight of history on its shoulders through the atrocities of the Nazis committed. Tenth mark. They could not go for the cosy ending of the book. 11th mark. An audience simply wouldn't believe it. 12th mark. Not only that, but the director seems to be saying firsthand that it would be very hard just to pull the plug on the entire experiment like the teacher does in the book. 13th mark. That's, this is why I found the film so enjoyable. I thought I knew where the story was going because I read the source book in English class when I was in school. 14th mark. I think that was where the director was cleverly relying upon. 15th mark. Anyone who felt smug in the audience because they felt they needed where the film was going to slavishly follow the film's original narrative strands was going to have the rug pulled from under them. 16th mark. I myself was such a person. This is why I like the film so much. Don't get me wrong, I like the book's ending. The teacher gently letting Tim's counterpart down by taking him for a bite to in a chat. 17th mark.
But I loved the more natural explosive climax of Tim, disillusioned with the end of something he threw his loss into, shooting himself dead. Blood is quite literally on Rainer's hands in the film. In the book he hasn't because the novelist was more interested in just teaching kids about the perils of Nazism without scarring them. 19th Mark Gansel, by contrast, clearly isn't worried about offending sensitivities of quote-unquote polite society. 20th Mark Indeed, he and his film seem to embody the old saying comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. 21 Marks So as a whole, that's 10 marks plus 20 marks plus 20 marks equals 50 marks, which is full marks for that paper.